Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host 40. Today I'm going to show you how to install Final Cut Pro X plugins um, that you download from the internet. I'm going to use one of my plugins as an example. So first things first, you're going to want to download the plugin. You can download plugins from my site at www.40tv.com slash downloads. So I'll open up a folder that I've saved uh, a plugin from. Uh, that plugin is called Power Bleach. Here's the zip file. If when you download it, it doesn't automatically uh, unzip it for you, then you're going to want to double click to extract this file. When I do so, it creates a folder with the same name as the zip file. Inside that folder is what I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and double click on this folder. Here, this is the plugin itself in the directory called 40TV and a README file. I'll go ahead and press spacebar. These are the instructions to install this uh, plugin, but I'm going to walk you through it. So first things first, we're going to want to open up our main hard drive. My main hard drive is called Lion. So here it is. You want to navigate to your users folder. You can either do that by double clicking on users or finding your users folder or home folder in your favorites if you're running 10 point, uh, OS X 10.7 or I believe it's the same way for previous versions of uh, OS X as well. So double click on users, double click on your home directory. Mine is entitled 40, yours would be entitled to whatever the name of your home directory is. You're gonna navigate to your movies folder and then your motion uh, templates folder. If you do not have a motions templates folder, you can go ahead and create this folder by right clicking saying new folder and uh, naming it motion templates. Uh, Spelling is important, the M and the T should be capitalized and there should be a space in between them. Double click on that and then you're going to uh, open up the effects folder. I believe this folder should exist even if you do not own Apple's Motion. If they do not, you can create these folders and put the contents uh, in there properly. You'll see that I already have the effect here installed. I'll erase it really quickly. This is the downloaded effect that I got from the internet. Here's the folder. We can look at the hierarchy of the folder, 40TV being the category, the name of the effect, Power Bleach, and then the information for the effect. I need to drag this full folder into my effects folder. When I do that, this effect is now available in Final Cut Pro X. If you have Final Cut Pro X open, you're gonna need to close it and reopen it so that it can see the effect. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm out.